Hey, what's up guys? It's Davey and today I'm going to be reviewing another lightsaber from Art Sabers and this time it's a dark saber. So let's get started. So first of all, as always, Art Saber sends their lightsabers in a beautiful black case um, featuring lots of metal on it. It is very heavy duty. This one does not come with locks, but it does come with latches. So it's packed very securely. You never have to worry about it getting damaged while shipping. And it is an awesome storage container for it when it is not in use or not in display. Quite frankly, this case uh, is so big that I'm not gonna be able to keep it in frame the entire time, but we're going to go ahead and unbox this. So as said before, there are three latches on top. Some of them, I think some of the more higher end lightsabers actually come with locks on the box. This one doesn't, but that is okay. Let's open this up. So this right here would be the lightsaber hilt. Again, it is packed very securely. This is a beautiful bag to keep it in and it has bubble wrap as well. Look at this. This is very nice. Simple, um, but heavy duty, really solid. It does come with like a clip for putting it on a belt. Um, this seems really nice. This seems like something that would be used more for um, dueling. Not exactly like a model of any specific lightsaber hilt uh, in lore, but very nice nonetheless. So put that to the side and this would be the saber. Look at that. That is very cool. I'm really interested in seeing what it looks like when you light it up. Um, I'm also interested to see if this is one where you can change the colors along with it too, but very cool. So it's got some, you know, painted um, or printed black on it so that it looks like a dark saber, but then plenty of white for the light to shine through. And of course, this is the plug for it. We also have a charging cord right here. We have uh, a guide. Lots of instructions on it. Um, as I found out last time, it's actually pretty important to read those because I did not know what I was doing. So hopefully I will read those and save a lot of time. Here we have the display stand. If it's like the last one I got, yep, it is uh, an acrylic display stand. I'm wondering if this goes to it. If not, I'll figure out what that is. The other thing that's really cool, this was not included in the last lightsaber that I got. I kind of wish that it was because it's a very nice detail for the display. It's a little metal plaque. Um, let's see if I can focus on it. This is the Dark, the Mandalorian, high-end collector's edition, the lightsaber, or the uh, art saber logo right there. Um, very cool. I wish my other one had come with this. I'm wondering, actually, I believe this is a sticky adhesive background, so um, back to it. So you could probably adhere that to the display stand, but very cool. So once again, I stand corrected. This is not a part of the display stand. Some of you may have been yelling uh, at the screen telling me what it is. This is actually a guard that goes right there on the lightsaber. So you just unscrew this in order to attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First of all, you unscrew this top part right here. Focus in. And then with this little side piece, it comes with a very tiny thing that you put small screws on and then you're able to screw it in in the side and then you reassemble that part right there. So now, the thing we have to do is assemble the uh, sword, attach the sword to it. And so typically what you do is you just put in some screws on either side, I believe, uh, and then tighten it just so that it holds in place. I have successfully attached the lightsaber hilt. As you can see, you just put in a couple screws there and a couple screws there, and it just tightens around the blade. I played around with it as well. So you can see I turned the light on, so let's go ahead and take a look. Light escape ball. There we go. So 
If you know anything about these sabers, you know that there are a ton of options. There are different colors, different lighting effects, different sound fonts. Um, and typically what you do is you use this and you hold it for a certain number of seconds in order to change the settings. But they've done something really cool this time. They now have an app that you can use alongside of it. And I gotta say, I love this. So you can go ahead and switch the sound font. Leia. Anakin. All right, so this is a type of uh, Anakin sound font. You can turn it on. There we go. You can also go ahead and change the blade color from here. You can do... Um, switch the blade effect. Essentially, there are so many features that you can do with this. You can upload your own sound fonts. That's pretty incredible. This was not available as far as I'm aware with the Starkiller lightsaber that I got. I'm interested to see if I can connect the app with this, but I doubt I can. But this is an incredible feature. It makes it super useful. Um, and it's very user friendly to use. You can change all the settings because sometimes just figuring out how long to hold this uh, can be a bit challenging, especially if you're not used to it. Um, but this is incredible. I'm really liking this. The blade is like a bit thick, but I understand why it has to be so. I mean, you don't want it to actually be sharp, especially if you're actually going to play around with this, clash with this. The detail is pretty cool. I gotta say, it's really nice, and this is a much more affordable option from Art Sabers. You're still getting a really high quality saber, you're getting a really nice dark saber to add to your collection. This hilt is heavy duty, it's made with great detail, you can play with it, you can display it. Um, and we'll show the display case in just one second. But overall, I'm really impressed, especially for the price point. If you're looking to get into, you know, NeoPixel lightsabers and, and lightsabers of this quality, I say that this is uh, an excellent option to start out with. And again, you can get a regular lightsaber blade or you can get the dark saber. And I think the choice uh, is pretty cool. So I have assembled the base and I gotta say Art Sabers has really stepped up their game with these um, display stands. Of course the uh, plaque did attach to this through the adhesive, these just slide right in, but this is really nice. The one that I got for my Starkiller lightsaber was nowhere near as nice of, as this. It was okay. Um, but it looked pretty cheap. This one, um, you know, it's still made out of acrylic, but it looks so much nicer, especially this plaque. It really elevates it. Um, so I'm super happy with this, and I'm surprised, you know, the Starkiller lightsaber that I got was much more expensive. Um, I, I think it retails for around $500 or so, and this one is significantly less. So super cool to see that they stepped up their game with this. I'd love to be able to get another one for the Starkiller lightsaber, but very happy with this uh, addition. And now before I show you this lightsaber in action, first we gotta talk about where you can find it. And of course that is at artsabers.com. Artsabers has a huge selection of lightsabers, including this one. And one of the best things about this is the price point. You can buy this lightsaber starting at only $179.95. That is so much lower and more budget friendly than many of their higher quality lightsabers, but you're still really getting your money's worth with this one. They have a huge selection of other lightsabers based off of different characters, video games, lore, and just original designs. They also now have cosplay helmets and other really, really cool accessories. So I encourage you to to check them out and of course to use my link or my code Davy Creates to save 5% off your order and of course it'll support my channel. Thank you to Art Sabers for sending me this lightsaber and for your continued support. Now let's see the lightsaber in action. So what I'm showing right here is the regular dark saber mode. 
This was to truly make the lightsaber look like a dark saber, the sounds, the lighting, how it ignites and how it retracts, and as well as the clashing sounds. But of course, if you've ever used an art saber or a NeoPixel lightsaber, you know that you can customize it pretty much any way that you can imagine. Choose a wide variety of colors. Of course, you know me, I'm gonna like red. So what do I think overall? I think this is an incredible lightsaber and dark saber specifically. Of course, with the Mandalorian out, that's the best thing that's happening in Star Wars right now. And so people love the Mandalorian and people love the dark saber. So if you are in the market for a NeoPixel dark saber, but you're not looking to break the bank, you cannot go wrong with this one. And if you've made it this far and you like content like this and you'd like to see more, I'd encourage you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again next time.